So straight off the bat, let's answer some of these questions I've had since my break. Spiral and Subterra support, pretty bad. Tornado Dragon, incredibly good. Twilight Swarms, eh. Star Grails, eh. Trick Stars, very interesting. Firewall Dragon, didn't take long for them to break it. 60 card school servant is dead. There is no point using one lawn mowing, no matter how many left arm offerings you can fit in a deck. Hit the mechanic of the 60 card deck that wasn't actually doing all that much, getting a few tops here and there. Hmm. New zombie card in the next set, really good, but a bit slow. Time Lords finally being released. Minerva being reprinted, pretty cool. Still waiting on Blood Mephist. Ninim got his wisdom teeth removed. Congratulations. Timo became the fastest growing YouTuber in the history. And that about sums up everything I care about. Oh, by the way, Link Summoning is partly slash mainly the reason I took a break. <laughs> So, what is up guys? This is Olynthia Yo, back after god knows how long, was it five months? So this video is just going to explain a couple of things, um, pretty much why I took a break and why I may or may not be back, and basically the future of what's going to be happening. So behind me is, uh, is the green screen, and I don't know if I'm really going to be editing out the green screen, uh, mainly because there's a lot of shadow here and I don't have my studio lights set up because, hey, I... Uh, I don't really want to set them up because they're all packed away over there behind my wardrobe because they are really big, bulky and annoying. Where have I been? Firstly, I just do want to say thank you to everyone who stuck around, all the incredible support that people have checked in on me. Uh, I have been posting on my Facebook page since I've been gone, so yeah, that's a, that's a thing. So I'm not dead, but I did drop off the face of the earth. Some of the reasons, um, one was time. Time constraints with my life basically took over and meant that I couldn't really fit everything that I wanted to do in. I would basically get up at say six in the morning to go to work, get ready and go to work, and then I'd come home about say 7 p.m. And then I would have a limited amount of time between 7 p.m. to midnight say to film videos edit videos eat and then do anything else that I wanted to do now filming just just if people haven't done like filming videos and such or a bit, a bit of a background on mine because obviously I like to think I used to put a bit more effort into them this one's a bit of a, an exemption from that rule getting the area set up the studio lighting getting the correct lighting the correct hue brightness on the camera then filming it getting all the information that'll take about 20 minutes half an hour depending on how many i do depth profiles take longer then i will need to go and edit it and the editing takes a while obviously the render process so on and so forth so all in all it will take about say between half an hour to an hour to produce a single video and um, obviously that takes a lot of time now in uh, december i made a promise to myself that i was going to be more healthy um, I was technically the biggest I'd ever been. I was quite unhealthy in the fact that, um, you know, weight-wise and just my eating habits, and I really wanted to change that. And I kind of was very honest with myself and said, I can't do that. I cannot focus on my health and my fitness without cutting something out. And unfortunately, it had to be this. I felt that it was just more important at the time for me to get more healthy with my lifestyle. And also the fact that links were announced around that time as well. And I really just hated the mechanic. I hated the idea of being forced to play something. Now, you know, I might say, oh, well, Olympia, yo, everyone played uh, Xyz and Synchros and all these things in eventually. Uh, mm, technically, no. I technically don't have to play any Pendulum deck if I don't want to, but I can still play the game and do pretty well. Same thing for Xyz, same thing for Synchros, same thing for fucking Rituals and Fusions and everything else. However, Link Summoning, I'm kind of very restricted in what I can do if I don't want to use links. And that's what I don't like. I am a creative person, I am a creative deck builder. That's what I like to think I am. The big thing that I fucking hate is the fact that I cannot make deck profiles now, or I don't see the point in making them, simply because they're going to be obsolete in a couple of months' time. Not even that, in about a month. What is the point of me spending my money, spending my time to actually produce these things that are just inevitably pointless? Now, I know a lot of you will be saying that you enjoy them and you like the content that I put out for them. And all I can say is I appreciate that and I really do appreciate that. But at the end of the day, 
it's not worth it for me to do it. It's a waste of time. And I'm not on about the monetary value of it because I didn't really, even when I was fully doing YouTube, I didn't get a lot of money at all anyway. And with the revenue thing now, YouTube not earning or whatever, um, I wouldn't get a lot anyway. But that doesn't really matter because that's not why I do this. I did this because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the game. I liked putting the content out for you guys. If it was still no, if there was no money there, I wouldn't care because I have another source of income and that's my job. So mm, this was just a hobby. But getting back to it, that was basically the reason I uh, left. I just wasn't enjoying the game. Everything was really annoying me at that time as well about the game. Just like some people in the community, some the leaders in the community and other things. It was just really irritating and slightly jading. So fast forward on to now, why am I returning now? Well, I'm not saying I'm returning. What I am doing though, and this is a promise that I'm going to be making to you guys, is that I will be trying to do some more content. Now, if you were a subscriber way, way back, you used to know that I did pumped out about four, five, six videos a week. That unfortunately won't be happening. I think I might be able to do a single video slash two a week, maybe not. But the promise is that I am actually going to be doing more content. Now, as I said, I'm going to be adopting more of a Rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh style of putting it up when I can. And um, I think that most people will appreciate that over the fact of no content. So I'm hoping that you guys will appreciate that and uh, just understand. Uh, I might maybe go back to the, you know, the regular upload schedule, I just don't know. But I'm not sure. There certainly won't be many if any deck profiles until links come out and I don't really know what's gonna happen with my deck profiles then because it's really jading to try and think of new ideas and then be like mm, yeah, I can't do that anymore because of a stupid mechanic. Now I'm gonna give the mechanic time when it comes in um, once I get some simulators up and running for like you know Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro 2 and all that um, I mainly use AI because even though it's awful and they the AI is terrible, it still just allows me to more to draw my hands and see what I'm getting. And if I go online, the amount of just annoyance online is unbelievable. And I'm just meh. I don't like Dueling Book because I think it's awful and I never like DN anyway, so meh meh. But we'll see, I'm sure there'll be some more coming out. I was speaking to anti -Meta Man and all them, and I've been trying them out, and they're, they're decent, but AI needs to be there. So. Come on, Percy, get your shit in gear. There's one thing that I think needs to be addressed um, and something that some people may not like, I'm not sure, um, but I've become slightly jaded <laughs> in my time taking a, taking a break away from the game. Just some things with how the company, for example, um, you know, deals with things. They're not really that great. Let's take this very quick thing, for example, and I'm only going to talk about this very, very quickly because I don't actually care about it. Billy Brake and Jackie Burnall, I think that was his surname. This whole thing of them breaking, you know, the rules to, to her giving him the win after the match is, um, you know, concluded, and then him talking about it in depth, blah, 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 blah. One, they're stupid for not realizing that that is how things work. I'm sorry, but they're very intelligent people and they're very good. Billy is a very, very good player and so is Jackie. You're honestly telling me you didn't know that openly admitting that you're giving the win to someone after a match is concluded is against the rules? Really? But anyway, th that's, I don't really care about that. It's the fact that everyone's like, oh, you know, Konami uh, finally folded and all this stuff. They, they saw that, you know, the error of the ways. You do realize that if it was anyone else that wasn't Billy's stature, that he didn't have such a community backing, do you honestly think they would actually reverse that? No is the answer. Of course they wouldn't. They were getting so much heat from the fact they did it and the fact that Billy was going to Worlds, pretty much. He's one of the, the leading people who are going to be going to Worlds on the, on the leaderboard. Do you honestly think that if it was any just random Joe that they would actually reverse it? Do you think they reverse it for me? No. Do you think they reverse it for anyone at your locals who isn't known in the community? It's backwards. It's all backwards. And that's just one of the things that really irritates me. But anyway, I'm not angry at the fact that Billy has got back in. I think he shouldn't really have been, you know, banned anyway. I think it's all just stupid. If someone wants to give them the win, just give it to them. 
No one cares! It's just one thing as a judge that I never really liked. Oh yeah, and speaking of which, me as a judge, probably not gonna be a judge anymore. We'll, we'll just we'll just put a full stop after that. So what does that mean for the future of me? Um, I don't know currently. I honestly don't know what is gonna be the future, what the future is gonna be like for me at all. Um, it's just one of those things that we're just gonna see how it plays out, but I hope you can, you know, enjoy the content for now. Not sure how proactively happy I'm going to be like I used to be. I'll leave a pin in that one, shall we? If anything to take away from this is I'm alive, I'm healthier, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going well. So we will just have to see. I'm still incredibly busy at work, as always. I'm now a basically manager, so it means that I'm much busier and look after many people, but <laughs> but it's just one of those things. I, I still love my job, so cannot complain. My legs are a bit sore. I went for a half an hour run last night. It's killing me. But that is it. So I think I think I've hit everything I wanted to hit. There's there's not much on my mind right now, and I will probably just leave it there. So I am alive. I am here. I do have my equipment still, so I can you know do things. But, but it's just one of those things that it needs to be done and speaking to a lot of other people in the community, they're all the same feeling. They have all the same feelings, so... Hmm... By the way, Link Summoning fixes nothing. Literally, it within like a month, it was broken. And I just don't understand the feasibility of a, of a company who can implement something that is meant to ideally slow the game down. Let's face it, uh, but it doesn't. It just creates more loops and fixes nothing. And you know it's a really good mechanic when it's not even being used in the OCG really. Bar like having one link in someone's extra deck, that's not a great use for a mechanic. So if that could just disappear, I'd be very happy. Anyway, enough moaning from me. Can't really tell you to uh, like, come subscribe like I always do because I don't know when the next video is going to be out. Just kind of wanted to give you an update and I am more actively thinking of video ideas now if I'm honest. I am writing them down more. I actually got my cards out of my drawer for the first time since the start of February to look through what I had and maybe have some new ideas. So that's promising, right? So I'm going to stop rambling now. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I shall catch you guys later. Thank you for everyone who is still here and is still watching and supporting me. Really do appreciate it because that's kind of why I do it and that's why I wanted to do the video. I felt really guilty the fact that I haven't put anything out and haven't really uh, communicated to you guys. So yeah, it's, uh, it's just one of those things that unfortunately had to happen and hopefully it won't need to happen again. So that's it. Catch you guys later. Thank you very much. Hope you are all doing well and see you on the flip side.